just decided I will go round the top. It's not as bad as I thought. Got to watch out for the overfalls just out beyond here though, especially on the flooding tide. I was going to cut through there. Probably still could. But I think I'll give it a miss today. Um, only takes one rogue one and uh, we'll be in the ship. So I'll go all the way round the kettle. This is just off the top of Tresco. Round one. Shipman head there and lump the old seas out here. But at least they're not chucking any water around, which is a good job because I didn't bring my waterproof trousers. <laughs> I'd be sitting here with a wet arse if they were. Now that would spoil my day. Down there we got Tresco Channel from uh, you get a better view of it from here now, see just what it's like. Oh it's breaking nicely yeah, I'm glad I didn't go inside now. Be able to free the sheep in a minute. Uh, scoop off in front of the wind for a change. Much better angle of sailing. Yeehaw! I know one of these has got my name on it. It's about to smash me and get me bloody ass wet. I'm just waiting for it. Ha ha! Any, any minute now, I reckon. We'll see. along nicely though. I'm on a cracking sail. I should have tidied up before I left though. The cabin floor's a bit of a mess. Tramping along out here, what are we doing? Five, five and a half knots with a reef main and, and uh, two or three rolls in the jib. Well, jib, yeah. Very big anyway, it's only a little self tacker. Oh, ideal. Oh, I could do this all day, and I probably will. Yabba dabba do. <laughs> right, time to head down. Just in there, I don't know if you can make it out, that is Piper's Hole. A, you can climb down there and uh, get into a cave. And there's a little pond inside it. If you take your dinghy, an inflatable with you, you can paddle across the pond. And there's a little beach the other side. Take some candles or a torch. following seas. Let's watch where we're going, not where we've been.
And there's a mark to come down here so as you uh, miss the, uh, the ledge that's in the middle and it's blockhouse it's just open of, uh, I've forgotten the name of the point now uh, and anyway it's that point on the corner there and you can see the beach and that's where blockhouse is on up above that so we've got it just tucked behind which is just ideal really if we head towards that point we'll be clear of the ledge just in the top of uh, old Grimsby Channel now you can see the golden ball brow breaking behind me you don't want to get too close to that not when it's breaking like that either it's uh, quite a place you can actually go up in the inside here as well there's a little channel through there but you need to know where you're going and I ain't going to explain it now it's a bit complicated uh, probably best for those with local knowledge really to be honest there's an anchorage just over here to starboard it's called Gimble Porth that's a nice little spot when the winds are from the southeast or something just in there and you'll probably have it to yourself as well quite a reasonable anchorage uh, I'm leaving Norweddle to port uh, once we're, we're now past the ledge so we're quite safe now uh, no other dangers until we get down near Foreman's Isle and then you've got half tide rock uh, quite deep water right along the shore of that one so you can literally toss a biscuit on the shore and there is a little beach around the other side for those that are adventurous enough you've got St Helen's Pool in the other side of that one too which is a reasonably good anchorage no, in fact that's an absolutely excellent anchorage really, truth be told Frenchman here, he's obviously decided he's looking for somewhere to uh, anchor. I think you'll find that one just a little bit on the rolly side. He might get away with it. He's obviously looking for shelter. Trying to hide away from the swell. Uh, just beyond the Frenchman there you've got uh, Foreman's Isle. When the tide's out on the spring tide, that's all one lot. You can walk between the whole lot of these and the rocks here off lying as well. So there's a fair bit of sand and stuff inside there. To be honest, I don't think he's picked such a bad spot. Not bad at all. <laughs> 